Hey guys, it's Irish again. Uh, in this video, I thought I'd show you how to auto start certain applications in Xmonad. For the longest time, I was running um, my applications such as Stantelo Tray, uh, N, uh, the Network Manager Applet, Volume Icon, and my Dropbox through my Xinet RC file. And, it did work, but it just, it, I would always love it if something could be spawned through the uh, your main configuration file. So what I did, um, I, went, I was having issues uh, during this, so I went to the Xmonad IRC channel, and uh, one guy helped me there, so I'm just going to show you what... Uh, he showed me what to do. So let's go into our main configuration file, which is in the hidden folder xmonad, and then it's your xmonad.hs. So you will need to import one thing here, and that is the spawn once. Uh, so it's import.xmonad.util.spawn uh, once by capitalized S and O. And then you want to also, uh, if you don't have one in your configuration file, you want to do a startup hook, because this will start up all of your, uh, well, all of your applications. So I'll just show you what I have in mind. So once you do import the dot util dot spawn ones, and then you want to create your startup hook. So Mine is my startup hook equals do, and then so whatever you're putting down below, it's just going to do it. So you just say spawn once, this time lowercase s but capital O, and then if you're using standalone tray, you want to uh, put it, uh, you want to do the um, path to it. So it would be under your user slash bin slash stand loan tray and then you would also want to do uh, network manager applet volume icon and then dropbox I'm going to add one more thing to this because my Compton which does my transparency here um, is also through my Xinet RC file so if we just do a spawn once and then in colon, I'm oh, sorry, in quotation marks, you just do Compton-B, and then close it out. So now if we do this, so save it, and then if I go back into my uh, XNRC file, what I'm going to do is just comment out the Compton-B, and then we're going to save that. So I'll show you guys what this looks like when when I come back so be right back so as you can see my standalone tray did start up like it was supposed to and now we I did have uh, Compton put in so let's see if it worked so as you can see Compton does work so this is just gonna be a quick video uh, anything that I figure out I'm just gonna make a quick video and show you how to do it so because you know if I'm having issues with it then probably there's gonna be one other person at least struggling through it so my next thing is I'm gonna try to figure out how to add a bar here it's called the taffy bar and it shows so with this this is xmonad or xmo bar with standalone tray but with taffy bar it's its own bar with a built-in tray so I, I th will work on that I, I think I have to rewrite my entire xmonad configuration file all over again so I can implement this so it may take some time but once I do um, I'll show you guys how to do it and uh, you guys have a good weekend and I'll talk to you later